Alright, this is Quail Save here. I'm Ron Kendall Jr. I've got Luke Kitten next to me. We're out here in Garza County. This is an uh, ongoing grubbing project that we're conducting. Um, pretty tight ground up here in Garza County. Uh, we're currently grubbing strips uh, through a pasture. This, this project is uh, partnered with Equip to get uh, cost sharing from the state uh, to, to make this ground more productive for raising cattle. We're conducting this grubbing with a, a CAT 330 FL excavator. Uh, we're, we're in the rolling plains of West Texas. We see, you know, a lot of operators are running 320s, 323 cats, a uh, little, little smaller size, uh, more in the 50,000 pound range. This is a, a medium size excavator, it's about 70,000 pounds. For this specific project, we selected the 330 because this pasture, as you can see, we have some very serious root balls. Um, this is a more mature tree, and we're going to walk through the pasture here and show some of these root balls. But this pasture, about 30 to 40 years ago, was actually chained, which used to be a very common uh, method used to remove uh, invasive plants, so redberry, juniper, cedar, and mesquite, and it turns out to be a very detrimental practice. This mesquite was all uprooted spread throughout this whole pasture and then rerooted. So what looks to be a, a very small tree may have a very significant root ball. And with this really tight ground, it takes a lot of power to pull that entire root ball and really clear the entire root ball out of the soil. So you can see even this 70,000 70, pound machine here behind us, looks to be just like a bush and uh, we've got Cole Schobert, our operator, working around this bush. This is a mesquite tree and you can see how much pressure he's having to put on that machine to remove what looks to be a bush. And you can see that was a very large root system underneath there. So this machine's really paid off on this specific project. Uh, we, we're, you know, we're pretty low output on it overall we're running it I'd say about half throttle so overall wear and tear relatively low and it gives us that extra weight on some of these more significant root structures when it is really dry um, to go ahead and dig in and fully remove that root. So we're out here in the rolling plains this is uh a pasture we're, we're currently conducting a grubbing project on and on this side of me is a strip that we grubbed about two months ago uh, it's had a couple inches of rain in the last month and you can see the amazing amount of grass production already obviously a lot of soil disturbance and removing all those mesquites has opened up tremendous moisture in the soil if we look right over here you can see what this pasture looked like before we started removing all these mesquites. These mesquites could have roots up to 15, 20 feet out where they essentially are choking out, eliminating all the moisture that, 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 that comes, comes in out here and allowing no grass production. So this really demonstrates why it's so important uh, to remove mesquites in some of these more, more choked out pastures. So right here we have a perfect example of why it's of the utmost importance to remove the entire root system, get as much out as we can, and remove the entire tap root. So this root was just left uh, when the tree was extracted. It's been raked over, it's gotten pushed over, and it's just kind of stood back up. This, you know, don't know how deep it goes, but it's pretty far in there. And you can see just this root where it's exposed, we already have new growth. Um, this strip was grubbed probably uh, just a couple months ago. So within a couple months, we've only had one little rain and we've got some new growth. And this is going to turn into a pretty nasty bush eventually um, come next growing season. So this right here is 
shows you you have to be very thoughtful when you start digging up these mesquites and complete root extraction is the goal uh, even if it adds some more time to your project. I'm Ron Kendall and I'm out here with the sinkhole man, Cole Schobert. As you can see, we have a sinkhole here. We have a sinkhole there even. All these mesquite trees are sucking all the water out of this ground that it's creating these big sinkholes out here and we're losing all of the water when we get rain or anything it all drains straight back into the earth into the sinkholes we don't hold any moisture at the surface of this earth with these sinkholes sir are you saying you're against regenerating the aquifers I'm saying that we have to get rid of these mesquite trees because they're drying up our earth. They're sucking, they're sucking the water out of our aquifers. Okay, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. The sinkhole man claims the earth is taking our water. The earth is taking our water. <laughs>